We're live, we're streaming, we're okay, we're good. Wonderful. Uh, so this is... Um, Crescent Loom. This is a game that describes itself as uh, the spore cell stage, but with actual science. Um, this is... Let's play games, doing a doing a stream. I'm Diego. We are going to play. Um, so this seems to be the the uh, tutorial spot, which I uh, have accidentally uh, went into. There's question marks here. Okay. I want to just go into the open open sea. Uh, as this game says, it is a work in progress. Expect bugs. Um, and I'll just show you sort of the basics. Um, I I played with this just a little bit uh, last night. Um, you have a s spine. I'm building myself bone. Um, do that. I'm going to give myself a fin at the back of here. I wonder if I can... Yeah, I can build fins off to the side of it, too. That's pretty fun. Um, fiber, a trailing hair-like structure. These are decorations. We have some sensory stuff here, like a whisker. Um, Orientation activates when held at a specific angle. Interesting. And I activates when something blocks the line of sight. Um, but the most important thing here is we have muscles to go with our uh, sort of bone and bone-like things. So we're going to use these muscles to attach in a line here and to attach in our line here. So now we have two muscles along the sides here, which then we're going to hop into our brain. And we see we have these two muscle groups. Um, what, I'm, what I'm about, you know, this is, the, I'm about to show uh, the most basic thing. Um, so this we have, I'm going to activate these neurons, and we're also going to tell these two to basically deactivate, oops, to basically deactivate each other. Um, so that way you see what these are doing is that they'll turn on and off and on and off. And I want the strength to be actually at, at 1.5. Is that the strength of the blocking? No, that doesn't make any sense. Can I turn them Okay. So we see there's like real stuff happening here in terms of like brain chemistry uh, uh, regarding like what elements like sodium ion channels to be conducing electricity, um, which you know when when you, when we say that like neurons are are um, like electrical signals, then it's it's sort of electric packets of information. Um, uh, yes, yeah, so we have potassium ion channels and sodium ion channels, and pff, this is a lot of stuff that I uh, learned about technically in high school, but was never great at. For being an anthropologist interested in human evolution, biology specifically, I'll say was not my strong suit, and chemistry even less so. So biochemistry um, is pretty darn hard. Um, we are going to just paint our a little doable here, sort of red along here, and then maybe we'll get some bioluminescence and some sort of maybe purple bioluminescence. Put some of that on this side, and then we'll get some yellow, put that over on this side. So just, you know, so that way we know which side <laughs> is which, like a helicopter. I'm gonna hit play, and you see this is telling which muscle to contract at different times. Um, Um, so you can see sort of going between the two different muscles, it's equal and opposite because what these things do here is they basically just like go on and off and on and off. Um, and so it's activating the muscle group. Um, but then this is saying at a certain sort of threshold, like physically deactivate this, um, 
as you are activating yourself. And so they're both activating and reactivating and deactivating each other to do just this simple tentacular muscle contraction. Um, I think I'm sort of at the edge of a world here because by zooming out, I seem to have, yeah. Uh, so what we can do is we'll edit, we'll go back into here. We are going to just clear this. And I, my main goal, actually wait, here, let's go back to the, so here, there's some, some patterns that, that the game gives us as, as sort of tutorials that this is the one that we just did, this basic. And I like kind of maybe understand these a little bit. Um, I want to see what this is doing in its brain. I don't know what this is. I think this is a sensory input. And so what it's saying is, um, the sensory input, I, I, just, I don't know what the sensory input is doing. And maybe I just need to mess with the sensory inputs a little bit more. So what I think we want to do is we're gonna go back to the map. We wanna find some caves. Because there's going to be a lot of sort of sensory inputs by touch that are going to be around us, um, which I think are going to let us um, uh, mess around with a little bit more um, sort of how we can maybe turn when something is touching us. We can use these whiskers. So in order to use these whiskers, I'm going to give us a... Um, a nice wide solid plate here at what I will deem our front. Um, I'll give us a couple of symmetrical whiskers. That is not, okay, let me edit where this, oops, nope. Excuse me. I don't need to be here. How do I get rid of that piece of bone? Okay, there we go. If we want to Okay, cool. So it seems to know that if they're too overlapping, then it is not actually wanting to be symmetrical in that way. That's that's good. I'm glad. Um, so I should mention also that once again, this is um, uh, a a um, a game from the massive bail fund itch bundle. Um, right. This is right. Activates when held at a specific angle. That seems pretty wild. Um, organs, sucker, nibbler, molars, jet, jaw. Okay, so I think what's gonna happen is if we touch something on our sides, the jets will activate and we'll just sort of like, like have our jet like zoom us out, right? And so we can add the jets here. And I think we want a mouth-eating jaw. So we can sort of forget forget that. We want a we want a balloon, ballast, molars, any basic or filter feeding. I don't want filter feeding. I like filter feeding. That seems like my kind of thing. So what we're gonna do too is we're gonna add us a hip. Um you have a couple spines and sort of go for, you know, sort of a twin fin sort of thing here so that we can maybe go a little faster. Actually, can I? I'm just gonna, excuse me. Oops. Oh, because that's the hip. Yep. Yep. Oh, nope. That all needs to be a uh, cement treacle. Let me go back to the symmetry, and we can... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cool. This is looking good, right? So, let's just go to our brain. We have... Okay, good. We have our sensory input. Nope. <laughs> but what is... This is that. Oh, I haven't added the actual muscles yet. Okay. So, I'm going to do a, a fun, tricky thing here. You ready for this? And this is going to attach to that po point in the hip. And then it's going to attach to this point of the hip. And it'll be this way. 
And so we'll have this sort of inner one that just has to be one. And then we will have, um, does attaching to this, like physically attach it to, interesting. Okay. Interesting. If I do that, does that mean that every time it does that, it'll jet also? I want to make these symmetrical, so I want to, you know, sort of have my experimentation be the same on both of these. Um, um, okay, so this is, this is our inner one. This is this side, perfect. This is this side, perfect. And so, oops. I want to physically move where this is. Sort of make our brain, um, sort of orient our brain in physical space, uh, you know. In, in a way. Okay, so we'll put this pace maker. What is this? Why does this have a negative one by it? Always on. I feel like the always on is probably good for the jets, right? Because then you're just always jetting. Um, I'll put a pacemaker here and another one here. Uh, nope. And another one here. So now we can connect this pacemaker with that. And this will pacemaker with these two. These two. And these will be doing that, uh... Okay, let's, let's take that one out so that way we can add this one in here. That way this, we can effectively do that. Okay, good, 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 good. So then we can see these go up and no, no, no. Yeah, this seems okay, this seems okay. And then these, we can say when we receive our input, right? we just have this go. So if, if we're touching something over here, we just jet, so that way we sort of turn our body away from it. But our mouth is more forward, so that way, yeah, this seems good, right? Let's paint it. Make this one, um, maybe we had purple for the last one. So let's sort of, it'll be purple around the back. Some sort of yellow in the middle. Um, excuse me, I wanted that part to be purple right here. Thank you very much. And towards the front, we'll, we'll sort of make it like this, this cool, like pink. Yeah, it de yellowed this space, unless that's just the space that I'm like looking at. I'll, I'll figure this. This is okay. We'll figure this out. Oh, please. Okay, so this middle one here seems to be a little too, a little bit too, too much. But we are, we do seem to be moving, moving and schmoogrooving. <laughs> it's very nice that it, it is showing us which muscles are active at a time. So now with this, then we jet off to the side. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. That's fantastic. I'm very glad this is also sort of living up to its um, spore but with science uh, 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 name in that it has, you know, the flagella-like thing as well as the jets. These jets are working fantastic! Oh, wow! The tail could do better. I think just a single, <laughs> a single normal tail would do good. Um, and as such, that's what we shall do. What we shall do. Um, or, go back to these organs, see if attaches on contact. Let go by silencing the neutron. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. And then, yeah, let's just give ourselves a better tail. 
breaking the tail off in two towards the end isn't going to do anything, is it? Unless... Here we go. Let's do this. And at the end is two fins. These. I tell you what. This is really going to... Uh, blow their beans, I tell you. So let's hop into our brain. We have this. We'll just put here. We can just put here. We have this. We can just put here. Don't need that. Don't need that. Just re re move this and just sort of redraw everything. It's fine. There we go. Now we can repaint this. Got our nice sort of yellow in here. Got our nicer purple in here. I'm a big fan of purple, in case you couldn't tell from my, uh... There we go. And these are the sort of the cones of sensing. <laughs> this multi-tail is not working. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll be, we'll be less silly with it. Okay, I get it. Okay, gamers. We've listened, and we understand. You want more Master Chief. Okay. Okay. Purple is very important. We don't need the symmetry mode. Ooh, okay. Now let's see how this puppy... Oops, I didn't attach anything to anything else. Uh, 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 uh. You go here. You go here. You do this, and you do this. Did I attach both of them to the same one? What? Why is... There we go. Oops. What, why did clicking... Oh. Am I just like influencing it in that way? Am I dragging it around? Seems like I'm dragging it around. Great. 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 It's not really great, you know, this isn't... stellar. <laughs> But it is moving. It seems like really the... The front wiggles are doing more than the back wiggles at this point. Um, which I don't know enough about the, you know, the singing group of the wiggles to really make a proper joke about. But... That's looking fantastic. There's a there's a high degree of sort of science knowledge in this sort of the logic puzzle of I don't know. There's, there's a, it's like there's a kind of engineering here that I'm not. Uh, Say the, uh... Pre-Rubicon Ecosystems. That sounds pretty neat. So there is, um... Under our, our neurons. Okay, there, there may be some bugs. There, there... There may be some bugs. That's okay. Um, a keyboard neuron wherein I can decide what button I'm hitting and <laughs> different stuff will happen. So I can say if I'm hitting up, maybe that's when I activate a thing. So I was trying something last night. Let's just, let's just, oops. Let's go with this. I can like add panels, that's wild. Okay, let's just, let's build a thing, all right? Just a simple, oops, 
simple thing. We've got that. We've got our fin. Basics, basic, basic. Yep. Swipe along the dots. Okay, so we have this. And we have our pacemaker. So we'll do this and this. Those are opposite. And move those two. And we're just gonna We're just gonna do the normal thing we did before. This attached to that, this attached to this. These do you know like the opposite thing. And you know, if we hit play, then it's just gonna swim itself around. That's great. But what I want to have happen nope. I want to see if I can get this to happen only if I hit up. But I want when I hit up to just go, not to have to worry about swinging back and forth. Because I could just replace these, have these not be attached to each other, and just have it be left and right. And basically, um, protozoa quap my way around. You know, hitting left, right, left, right, left, right. Um, but I would much prefer if I were just able to hit up and have it swim myself automatically. Sort of do this back and forth automatically. The same way that I, as a human person, think walk that way. And I don't think about, you know, my individual legs moving back and forth. Um... I think of sort of the direction of motion I want to be going in. Um, so I think this is sort of what I want to be working towards. But in order to get a better understanding of how this works, I want to start with, nope. I'm gonna be doing something much different. Jet. 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 See where I'm going with this? We have up. We have the other directions. We can see how this works. So that way the button that I'm heading for down is down. This is the down. Is right, and this is left. My favorite direction. And you see, that's really why I named. <laughs> no. Um, how does that like political compass meme go? Am I doing the colors right? And we'll just have it be. So yeah, this is a white in the middle. Oops. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. That did a cool thing. Uh, no, I don't want the brain. I want to color it. I just want to color it. Oh, nope, I colored too much of it. Nope, I colored too much of it. Oh, disaster. Uh, no, please, just let please let me color. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Just a small paintbrush. Oops. Nope. Okay, I think this is starting to happen, okay? Um, click on brain. Everything's still good and dandy? Okay, let's hit play. And now if I hit right, I go the opposite direction. Right, I need everything to be opposite. Okay. <laughs> Let me, so this is right. This is left. This is up. And this is down. So now I hit right and I go right. Hit right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, nope. I've turned. Oh, disaster. Um. This is a time for me to use balloon ballast. Oops. 
Wing Ballast is going to go here. Nope. Balloon, ball balloon Ballast is going to... It doesn't fit. There's nowhere it fits. Um, ballast. Nope. <laughs> okay, okay. But now you sort of see where I'm going for it with this. Right? So what I can do... Everything... Hips abound. All right? That's the new way of the world. Hips abound. We just need... No, we don't need hips. We just need blocks. No, here's... Here's... Okay, wait. No, we do want hips, because we also want these sections to, like, be going out, right? Um... Yeah. And we're gonna be able to just, like, really fast sea urchins. So we're jets. Are rockin'. And... We get... Balloon up. And ballast down. And on top of that... Yeah, muscle just to... <laughs> Um, no, I think this is good. And then we just hop into here and we figure out what's what. Is the balloon not just always active? Okay. This is interesting. I can fuck with this. Yeah, so then maybe when up is hit, it also makes our balloons happen. Hmm. We can... Yeah, let's just try this out. No, no, no. I want to see what it's like without the balloons. So then, yeah, we're going to do a similar thing. Where we figure out our directions. Please, I want to color this. Um, okay. And it was green, so that one is. And then the rest will have, sort of one side is black, like the other side white. And we'll make our ballast Purple, so I know it's sort of on the bottom, bottom here, bottom here, bottom. On the bottom here. The top will be uh, orange. Nope. That's okay. I'll figure this out one day. Okay, so now we've color coded our little beastie, and we can see how this how this rolls. Oh, the ballast is okay. So the ballast is like actively dragging us down. So I do want an always-on neuron. Let me just pause this all. Yeah, the game is really like, oh man, you're giving me so much to do, aren't you? Yes, I am. Rate? Rate of always being on? Rapidly always be on, I guess. <laughs> okay. So now... Ballast. Is... Still more than our balloons. But that's okay. 
we just have to manage that. And now we're, we're much slower. We have a lot more stuff on us. Oops. Nope, 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 nope. Either way. But... Oh, it sounded like something was happening. I don't know what it was. Shoot down. I've started to think of all of this as sort of inverted. <laughs> Which is a problem. Um, okay, we are going to back pause. What our brain's doing? Um, it's doing okay. But we want a mouth. At least one mouth. I want nibblers. Can I put a nibbler here? That seems pretty wild, doesn't it? Okay, I can't. What I thought. I need mouth here. Weight does seem to be a factor here. So maybe what it is that I do is I drop in on my prey. <laughs> and we'll add a couple more balloons. See if that keeps us afloat. Great. Gr <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. That'll do. And now we float a little too well. Let's get back to the drawing board. Come on, this isn't Kerbal. We're not trying to fly off into the atmosphere. No, I didn't want that balloon there. Okay, this balloon is being moved sort of over here-ish, I guess. Now, what happens when we have three balloons? We're uneven, but that's okay. We are going to try to munch this food right here. Uh, zoom on down to... Zoom on... I... Too many balloon. Cannot go down. Okay. Drifting down just a little bit seems to me much better. Than uh, than just perpetually floating up. So we're gonna put a couple of mouths here and here. So now, you know, we have the ability to eat things at least theoretically. Yeah, and these jets seem good enough that, uh, okay. Do I get to eat? Yeah! Check out those calories. I am perhaps a little too bulbous to be the best at eating. It's a lot of stuff touching my I wanted to call it a craft, but it's not a craft. Oh, I think I'm just stuck in the brambles and bushes. Can I wait? wait, wait, wait. Oh. Yeah! Fantastic. So, I see why... Well, I, I see... A cool thing that the, the devs are trying to sort of implement. Uh, earlier, I suppose. Because one of the sensory things is eyes, which of course senses light. And since there are not really AI as such, at least yet, um, the fact that these are all uh, you know, seemingly like bioluminescent pellets means that if I was great at this game, which I'm not, um, I could 
you know, engineer something to be, oh no, please, I just, I want to consume. You're not just acting on brownie in motion, you're like, you're like really like moving. Maybe these aren't just pellets, maybe these are. Ugh. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I could, you know, perhaps in theory... Oh, I just missed it. Now it's sort of trapped behind my... The wiggle. To use my best quality, my wiggles. Oh, did you see how that jet... <laughs> was able to... Oh, yeah, that was fantastic. Yeah, one of the jets was able to sort of, like, guide it into my into my mouth. That was great. Oh, that makes me wonder if I could use the fins to, uh... Like... I'm, like, really sinking. The jet seemed to lose his steam after a second. Oh, because I was consuming calories, maybe? Just using brain power? Uh-oh. What just happened? What's happening? Am I giving birth? What? What? Wh I had... What? And it's being controlled like what? That's so buck wild! I had no clue that could happen. <laughs> this chick. Whoa! Now I. Whoa! So I. Oh my goodness! I don't... I... yeah, okay, that is a strong incentive to make these uh, not just sort of player-controlled characters, um, but sort of organisms on, on, in their own right, um, so that way they can be good at doing the thing that life does, I guess, of consume calorie, create more. Come on. Just want to eat. Oh. Oh, man. Getting these jets in a way for me to be able to use them is tricky. Okay. Okay. So it looks like I don't have to quite worry about calorie consumption yet. Sort of my use of calories. Just now I am burdened with the knowledge that babies can happen. And that I have too much ballast. <laughs> um, oh golly. Oh jeez. There's a lot of food right there. I want to eat this food. Give me your food. Come on. I want to make a baby. Give me your food. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is this is dope. This is the, living the dream. <laughs> okay, I just want to see this egg hatch, and we'll have you know three little flotillas in the world. But now that I know that this is a thing, we need to try to make one autonomous. So we need to just destroy everything. Nothing exists anymore. There is nothing. There's especially not keys. There's no keys. There are eyes, however. But, oh, now I have to think of, oh, now I have to like think about body plan. Okay, we had the thing before that was pretty good where the jets turned us if there was something um, touching our side. So I think what we're going to do instead is we are going to 
swim forward with just a a basic flagella. All right, all right. So we just have this back and forth, this basic thing that we know. We can do the thing that we were, you know, doing last time where we have those couple of tinglings. So I want, actually, I want a wide plate here. I want, rather than tinglings, I think we want eyes. So what's going to happen is, if we see something in our periphery, for example, if we see that, then the jet turns us towards it. I want these eyes off to the side enough that by the time the jet sort of sort of is is, is by the side, um, but we also want some whiskers. I'm gonna say that. And the 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 whiskers and the eyes are going to be doing basically the same function. But they so there's two reasons they need to be off to the side. So that way, when the jet turns it, there's still enough. Room. When the jet turns it, there's like. I pointed at the screen, but you can't see my fingers pointing at the screen. I was using the mouse to, to gesture, but you, you, you all can't see the mouse. So when we have something that is um, in the periphery of our vision, and we sort of turn towards it, you know, there's a little bit of a delay as the jet stops firing. Um, so really, there's two ways we could go about it. We're either... Well, I can think of more than two. Okay, no, I... I okay. Well, we, let's, we'll, we'll start with the basic design, and if we need to get more complicated from there, then we get more complicated from there. But, better to start with the basic. So let's just add us some muscles, too. And some muscles. But the most important part, then, is the calorie intake, a.k.a. actually... I think these could attach to the front there too, which that is enticing. Like Mike enticing. The longer a muscle is, the 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 stronger it is. Um, okay, this this is a nice big mouth. I like the nice big mouth. I can sort of guide things in, and it helps demonstrate that I've put the eyes in the correct spot because you see the the edges of sort of where between where whiskers are and where um, mouth is is where the cone of eyes is okay these are opposite these are opposite this here this here go for our just normal pacemaker neurons again this sort of didn't attach. That's okay. We'll do the, these things. Just swim back and forth like that. And now, oh, I need the jets so we can go out of brain back to the jets because the jets are going to be the thing that turn us. Right, 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 right. So I want these here and here. Um, yeah, so we'll head back into the brain. So that way, whenever we see something or we touch something, the jet of that corresponding side will go off. So what I want is, and then you could bioluminescence and that affects the light. Oh man, that's what, there's so, the things you could do. Okay. We're gonna have it. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, then there's middles, but then we're gonna have different sides and unsymmetrical my painting. I have this cool pink on one side. Oh, a little more than on one side, but that's okay. And this cool yellow on the other. 
Um, and everywhere that's in the middle, we're going to have a purple. Maybe not just the purple. A streak of black in there. A section or two. It'll look cool. Yeah, this is dope. There's the piece of unpainted back here. Oh, there we go. And the body don't want to be. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, I think this seems like a good first test run. Good area for a first test run. So let's. Okay, so it is turning towards where it is seeing light. It is also turning drastically anytime it wiggles its whole body because those muscles are attached to the front of the face. Okay, okay, okay. We can alleviate this. And also, I forgot to actually. Did I? No, I did attach those. Okay, good. But we need to change those muscles just a little bit. Excuse please do the attache. There we go. Attache helicopter. This is once again the top one, this is the bottom one. And then we'll move this there, and we'll move this there, and then we'll do this here, and we we'll do this here. And now we should see that maybe this works. Oh, 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 I needed the jets to attach to the the opposite side now it's turning away it's turning away from light okay okay no okay we can we can we can fix this we can solve this we can do this because the eyes just need to flip and switch switch and flip eyeballs think of yourselves as opposite Really, it should have been everything else that thinks of itself as opposite, but that's okay. Maybe that's just my sight bias. <laughs> Is that eye, if it sees something, it activates that one. Okay, good, that was working, that worked, that was working. Get out of this, that way we can just sort of see this happen. Okay, so then it's jetting the other way. It has to have, it has to have the, oof, what a mess. <laughs> oh, there's also interesting, yeah, you could do interesting stuff with the suckers, because if it's not at your mouth, you could suck onto it. Hmm. Regret already. Um. It has. To, uh, I think maybe it has to be in sight for long enough for the jet to like actually activate. I. Yeah, there's some more calories. Oh, oh, there's my there's my flotillas. <laughs> Flotillas just casually filter feeding. I got like a flotilla and a hunter. I oh man. I, I don't know if I could have figured out a way to, um, great, fantastic. 
Um, yeah. To swing the tail without swinging the head so much? Like, maybe just give it equal and opposite wiggle. The whisker part of the jets is still doing great. Um, I don't know if the eyes are... Maybe it's based on how much light it's picking up. It's having it jet different amounts. Because I still see, like, you know, jet stuff is coming out, but, you know, never as much... Whoa, what's that over there? Go over there! Go over there! And it's got some stuff on its tail. Oh, it's got two, two... Oh, oh! This is one of those basic designs that we saw earlier. Can I eat that? Oh, no, because I'm not carnivorous, so I'm just a filter feeder. I made a... Okay. So I saying a hunter, this is a... Oh, oh, those are a lot of, a lot of neurons firing off at once. But yeah, okay. So then we just see with the jet. It's on the hunt. Oh. And because. Uh oh. I hope I hope my little boy can figure out how to leave. Yeah, and so it's turning towards me because it, it's picking up some amount of light from me. Oh, but I was just able to squeak past it. Oh, that's fantastic. Um, it's doing so good. And so maybe the bioluminescence would be good as a predator because the things for filter feeding, the things for potential prey are luminescent themselves and so your bioluminescence might be used to I don't know, zoom out just a little bit just to see how the other one is doing okay yeah listen I know it's a little uh, f the game's running a little framey for me just because you know as as something that is still in development you know there's a lot of like optimizations that aren't done um because sort of you know it's it's just about building up the the, the base features and, and things of that nature um not just about that but you know sort of the, the usually the primary goal unless you're uh i don't know phil fish making fez um uh okay yeah okay yeah and so you can see from the cones like how This is fantastic. This, yeah. Seeing that like there's also just some other stuff occupying the world, seeing that you you can, you, oh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm into this. I'm bad at this game, but I'm, I'm quite into it and I would like to see what other folks do. Now I wanna build things like the flotillas. Oh, you could do full on filter feeding. You could like, because of the ballast, you could ballast down suction cup somewhere, and and have that, and then just truly filter feed that way. Oh wow! Like it's just such a it's just such a simple tool set. It seems you're like okay, like I see the general set of bones, and I kind of get that for you know putting things you know where they seem to need to be, wanting enough muscle attachments, things like that. But, but now, sort of turning from that into, like, okay, how are these things potentially going to interact with each other? Like, I could basically just make a Venus flytrap. Probably. Did my... Oh, that thing just... That thing just... My flotilla! Whoa! This is incredible! No, I don't, so I, the, the other spots that I was at, you know, didn't seem to be having, um, really anything around them. 
And so I'm curious. Oh, stop turning. Oh, oh, you're on a little loop, huh? You're like, oh, there's a thing there. That does pick up on that. So, yeah, okay, that was just a great example of that succeeding. Of, of the, the eyes succeeding. Because, yeah, you're able to see the cone, how yellow the cone gets as a way of um, sort of how uh, engaged it is. Um, Seeing that thing with jets, yeah, like, I, I understand, uh, I understand the Cambrian explosion on a much more visceral level, I guess. Because, you know, like, the things that I were saying, you know, filter feeders, Venus flytraps, you know, you know, it's eating a variety of stuff, but it is, in some fundamental sense, just stuff that is, um... I am in place and letting the world happen around me. Or is this... Motion. Now you have motion, you can say... What do you... what is... what has light over there? Nothing has light over there. You can say, okay, I'm gonna... what, what happens for me to... Even just stumble into different stuff, like is happening right here. Like, what a different experience that is. What are the time scales I can work at? <laughs> I'm doing yakety sacks, but it is like a frame a second. If that. Looking at the timer, looking at the interest, yeah, yeah, and so then I can even, I can pause it, half speed. This is all wild. Yeah, so, you know, the Cameron explosion, like, it becomes this arms race of animals, right? Like, motion becomes an evolutionary tool, um, and, you know, that changes everything. Because, you know, now, you know, you're not just waiting for stuff to pass you by. You have to, you know, worry about things coming to get you. Um, again, these are things stated with more agency than they actually, like, had, but, you know, it's hard not to, it's hard to talk about things in a, in a way that is more correct, not more correct, it's hard to talk about something in a way that both, it, it, it you know, it is, it is, for the purposes of, of helping you sort of understand it um, on a non-abstract level uh, while also being like very accurate. Um, this is fantastic. I've already gone <laughs> way longer than I uh, thought I, I would or could. Um, but yeah, I you know I thought my goal for this was going to be like make something like this, but I control it. But you know, seeing that I can make ecosystems, that there's another animal I'm about to run into. I don't know what it's going to be, but I'm about, oh, it's one of those again. Okay. Seeing that there's stuff like that around, I want to be able to. have my autonomous thing react to it. That's great. It is, I will say, again, currently not the, uh, 
uh, fastest, smoothest running experience. Oh, and these two meet up. This is great. I wonder if I had the the sort of the meat eating jaw, if I would consume friend. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, but I, I've greatly enjoyed my time with this game. I seem to be about to be flanked, perhaps. Oh no, that's another one on my side. Um, I want to see if I'm going to get eaten by this thing. Uh, sort of what that consumption process looks like. <laughs> um. But I think this is... This is a good good spot to stop. I might like actually pick this one back up, um, but this has been incredibly enjoyable. What happens if I click on our friend here? Oh right, I can sort of like influence where I, where my my thingy is like jerked towards um, through mouse button. So I'm going to see if I can get myself to be eaten <laughs> by this. <laughs> you know, this. This other thing doesn't seem to be the brightest, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll be able to eat me. Oh, did it just like consume like half of my face? Yo, that's buck wild. That's like legit buck wild. Whoa! And that w I still have the one whisker that works, which is hopefully gonna get me to sort of get pushed closer to it. I just want to get eaten by this thing, but it's, it's just fucking around in a corner. Consume me! I want to see what happens. No, <laughs> I want to see what death is like. Okay. Is it just like whenever it touches the back thing there? I still have a jet. <laughs> Attacking back. So if I just pause here and I replace this with this. I'm going to replace all of my colors. Nope. Larga. I want my bioluminescence to be very strictly controlled via my mouth. If it, you know, sees this light. Now this is Hunter Jet. No, the other one's Hunter Jet, but this is closer to a jet. Can't eat. Oh, I... <laughs> <laughs> so it seems like I can still eat those little... Gooboos. But what happens when I encounter, I'll say, a vegetarian of my kind? And it sees my light. See, see my light. See my light. And it'll jet towards my light. And I will turn myself around. I'm smart enough to turn myself around. And I'll see some light from its yellow side, I think. Hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Just be over here. Gotta... Gotta just 
sort of futz with the. Listen, I know, I know it would. I don't need this to be. Drag my. Sell self, self. Ugh. Why am I swimming backwards? No, I want to unclick. Boss. Okay. Okay. Please. Please, I just want to see you try to eat something. I want to see if it works. No! Come on, come on. Please, uh, so as you can see, I'm just sort of dragging it over in a direction via the mouse. You can't see where the mouse is, but right now it's right over by the clock. Cool, so I've dragged it over there. So now hopefully it'll on its own sort of swim towards these other things. And I will see what it is like to be Predator. I'll see light. And other things will see my light, hopefully. This is promising, this is promising. It's a narrow corridor. I Oh, the whiskers also activate if the if the food particles touch it. That's interesting. And now I just consume and any part that touches it. Okay. That's that's I'd say appropriately buck wild. And I'm about to do the birthing thing, I think. I consumed a lot of calories. I could be doing this forever, so we have to end the stream. Because my AC is not on, and I would like to not uh, toast my own self. <laughs> but I will simply drag this around just a little bit in the hopes of seeing the miracle of... Oh, Predator v Predator! Predator v Predator! Yes! And then, baby, the miracle of life. Do I just immediately eat baby? Is that what's about to happen? Is baby about to eat me? No, we did not touch each other yet. Okay, we seem to be swimming in opposite directions. Fantastic. And here the story ends with the miracle of life, a slight uh, sort of uh, graphical uh, glitch on the muscles of our tiny baby, but understandable because it is, you know, scaled down. Um, oh, baby did eat a bit of me. One of my jaws on my jaw and my eyeball. Bad baby. That's wild. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Um, this has been Crescent Loom. Um, uh, again, from the Massive Itch Bundle, um, I would like to uh, uh, sort of thank all of the, most of the contributors to that bundle. <laughs> um, uh, and I think this game is really interesting. And Wow. How fucking neat. Um, I look forward to seeing if this has continued progress. Um, but this is, even as it is now, just like real, real neat. Um, so again, thank you for joining me. I've, I've been Diego and continue to be. Um, this is uh, Crescent Loom. And we'll see you next time on Last Play. Goodbye.